Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be doing a kind of review slash is it worth the hype kind of thing for a bunch of different products. Um, recently I've got a few kind of new products that I've seen hyped about all over social media and I wanted to test them and give you guys my honest opinion um, just to let you know like if they're worth buying, if they're worth the money, that kind of thing and what my honest thoughts were. So I thought that, I don't know, I think I might turn this into a kind of series on my channel where I do like testing out different products and telling you whether they're worth the hype so if there's any other kind of like super hyped about recent products that you guys have seen that you want me to test then let me know in the comments down below also if you're wondering why I'm uploading on a Tuesday I'm actually going to be uploading every single day this week because I have quite a lot of sponsored videos coming up uh, like within the next couple of weeks and I don't know I just felt kind of bad for that because they accidentally all came at the same time I've explained this so many times on Twitter also this video is not sponsored I was sent some of the products in it but this is like 100% my own honest opinions, obviously. <laughs> okay, so obviously I've already done my foundation and my eyebrows. On my brows I used the Freedom Dip Brow in Taupe. And on my face I've used Dermacol and I am actually filming a whole video on this. So I'm going to be using a couple of new products in this just because I thought, why not? And I'm also going to be using a bunch of products that have loads of hype and telling you whether I think they're worth it. So for concealer I'm using the new Makeup Revolution Pro HD um, camouflage conceal palette and I really like the packaging for this it's like nude matte packaging oh my god are you actually joking me the background's just gone again I'm just gonna put a bit of this under my eyes oh and I used this to carve out my eyebrows today but I feel like because it's not too thick but it's not too like liquidy is the perfect eyebrow carving concealer. Okay, that did a pretty good job of brightening my under eyes. I'm then just gonna put a bit of the kind of normal colored one on my spot down here. I really need to get this foundation off of my lips. Okay, so the powder that I'm using today is probably the most raved about powder of the year. This is the RCMA No Color Powder and I recently got this on Beauty Bay and is it worth the hype? I think it is. I really, really love this powder. I think it is so good. It's so finely milled. It doesn't feel thick and cakey at all. And I find that it sets my makeup really, really nicely. Um, I don't think it flashes back. I'm going to test it in this video and let you guys know if it flashes back. The only thing I hate is the packaging because like when you open it, it's literally just open like this and you have nowhere to put it. So what I've been doing is putting it in like an old um, loose powder container. Um, but yeah, I definitely think this is worth the money. You get such a big amount as well. So yes, I do think this is worth the hype. By the way, if anybody's wondering what this powder brush is, it's um, from the Makeup Revolution like champagne collection. And it is literally the biggest, softest powder brush in the world. Okay, so as you can see, that has left my face completely set and matte, and I love it so much. So once I've done all my makeup, I'll do like a flash photography test. So I'm just gonna quickly bronze slash contour my face. Um, this isn't anything that's kind of hyped about, but I'm gonna be using the Freedom Pro Bronzed professional pro bronze in warm lights. You can get this in Superdrug, I think it's three pounds. Only really suitable for pale skin though, because as you can see, the colors are very pale. I feel like it's gonna be a dupe of Hoola Light. As soon as Hoola Light is available in the UK, I'm going to be testing it in one of these worth the hype videos because I've been waiting benefit, I've been waiting. So it's not so much contouring, more just warming my face up. So on to one of the main products that I'm testing in this video. This is the new Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Prismatic Amethyst and this is the kind of holographic duochrome one um, and the box is gorgeous. This is from Cult Beauty and I think this costs £32 which is so much money, especially for one product. Um, for the packaging, it just looks like this. It's kind of like Becca's standard packaging, but it's just lilac and shiny instead. Um, and then when you open it up, it's got a really nice mirror, and then it's got the gorgeous design. Um, so as you can see, it kind of is all like triangular and 3D. And I have swatched this and it looks gorgeous, but I haven't put it on my face, so we're about to see if this is worth the hype. Oh, wow. Oh, 
Oh, that is so pretty. It's such a pretty kind of pinky lilac sort of colour. Okay, so that is what this one is looking like. I'm not sure how well you can tell because the sun is being really weird today, but it is so pretty. I'm actually going to kill my camera. Okay, so as you can see, it is a absolutely beautiful colour. I really hope that's coming across well on camera because in real life it is like the most beautiful kind of lilac-y, pinky sort of colour. However, I do want to say, okay, it's very pigmented, it's very smooth and kind of like finely milled, but I am one that likes a super like glowing bright highlight. Um, and I feel like it's not the most blinding highlighter that I've tried. Um, but I mean, I guess that's not for everyone. So I don't know, it's quite hard to call because obviously like with my softbox lights it looks pretty like dazzling and stuff. But just like comparing it to other highlighters that I have, it's definitely not like a super kind of like metallic one. Is it worth £32? I don't really know, it kind of depends on personal preference. To me, personally, I don't think I would spend £32 on this because I have other kind of like pinky highlighters um, that do a really really good job. It is gorgeous and if you really like Becca products and you like the packaging and you're into your kind of high end makeup then I do think that you'll really like this and also if you're not into like a super metallic blinding highlight, I mean it is blinding, it's just not like liquid metal on my face. Um, so I do think it is very pretty, I think it would make a great present for somebody, but is it worth £32? I don't really think so, in my opinion. I have the Blank Canvas Cosmetics Master Series Palette 1 and this has been so raved about in the world of kind of UK bloggers. I haven't heard anyone from America talk about this, but I've seen so many girls recently um, in the kind of blogger community in the UK talk about this. I don't know if you guys will have heard of it, but a couple of people did actually ask me to try this. Um, and why does it keep closing on my hand? I know that Emma absolutely loves this and I've seen quite a lot of positive reviews. Um, so I thought I would give it a go in this video. Everyone's gonna complain at me for doing warm makeup look today, but this palette is literally a palette full of warm tones, like what else can I do? <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with like, I don't know, I guess this colour here and put it in my crease. All of the colours are matte apart from one, which is like a shimmery, kind of pale golden colour. So I'm not gonna go too crazy today. You know what, let's make this more brown rather than warm brown. So I'm gonna take some of this colour here, which is called Forza, and I'm also just gonna add that. It's still warm brown, but it's like not kind of, you know, that kind of orangey colour. Again, another really pretty matte colour. Okay, I'm impressed. I'm gonna go for this colour here, which is called Hickory. It's like a dark kind of purpley brown, I think. Ooh, ooh, that's very pigmented. Took too much of that one. So far, I am absolutely loving this. I'm then gonna go in with Goddess, which is like the shimmery color, and I'm gonna put that like on the inner part of my eye. Oh, hello. Okay, I don't like the flat side of this brush. I like the fluffy side, but the flat side is not for me. Okay, so overall, I am really impressed with this palette. I think it is beautiful, I love the colors, I love the formula of the eyeshadows. Um, it's got a mirror, it comes with a brush. Is it worth the money? I definitely think so. And I definitely think the girls that have hyped about this were right, because I really, really like that. Okay, so I just added some of my NYX Epic Liner and the L'Oreal Miss Hippie Mascara. So finally, I'm moving on to the lips. So the lip products that I'm testing in this video are the new Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipsticks. And these are in three new shades. I haven't actually tried any of the original Huda Beauty um, liquid lipsticks, but I know that these are so hyped about. I've seen them all over Instagram. There's one called Silver Fox, which I'm probably actually gonna wear because it matches my hair color. Um, and then there's also two um, metallic ones as well. First off, I absolutely love the packaging. So this is the color Socialite. I mean, the packaging does look very luxury. It feels really luxury. I'm pretty sure it's made of like glass. I think it's like frosted glass, I don't know, I can't tell, they felt kind of cold when I got out of the thing. Maybe it is plastic, I can't really tell. Um, but yeah, the packaging does feel and look very luxury, it's pretty like heavy. Oh my god. Oh, they smell so good. I can't figure out what that smell is, they smell 
kind of like vanilla and coconut. I feel like for some people the smell might be a bit overpowering. It's quite sheer. It's got like actual chunks of glitter in it. So these retail for £18 on Cult Beauty. I'm really not crazy about this colour, it's very sheer. Um, I don't know if this just because this is like the kind of metallic formula, but I I don't think that this is worth £18. I feel really bad for like bashing these products, but you know, it's just my honest opinion. If you like this and it works for you, then that's amazing. However, I do have high hopes for the grey colour because I did swatch these three on the back of my hand. And the grey one seemed different because this one isn't a metallic, it's just a straight up colour. Okay. Oh wow, that is so nice. Okay, so this grey colour I absolutely love. It's definitely a different formula to the kind of like metallic-y ones. Um, this one went on so much smoother. I did have to do two layers on my top lip because I kind of like rubbed my lips together. So I wouldn't recommend like, rubbing your lips together. I don't really know why I did that. Yeah. I absolutely love this colour. It feels super comfortable on my lips. It smells amazing, went on really nicely, and yeah, this one is definitely a lot better than the one that I just tried. So is this one worth the hype? I think so. Is the other one worth worth the hype? I don't think so. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you have found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give this a thumbs up. And also, if you aren't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe because, like I said, I'm uploading every single day this week, so it should be pretty fun. If you've seen any kind of like a super hyped about products that you want me to test, then let me know and I will try and do that for you guys. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you in my next video. Bye.